Welcome to Vidya's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making eggless brownies. This is a very easy recipe to follow. So let's go see how to make them. The brownies, I'm going to use a square tin. This is an 8 inch tin that I'm using. I've greased the sides and I put butter paper at the bottom. Next I'm going to preheat the oven. I'm going to heat it at 180 degrees centigrade and I'm going to leave it for about 15 minutes to preheat. This gives us the time to get our ingredients. Ready. First, I'm going to add the 130 grams of uh, self-raising flour and then we're going to sieve everything, all the dry ingredients. So the first dry grain ingredient is the flour. Next, we'll add the 60 grams of sugar to the dry ingredients. 3 tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Yeah, that's it. My little helper here is giving me a hand. So this is our joint baking time, bonding time. And finally half a teaspoon of baking soda. So, now I'll sieve all the ingredients. So, we've sieved and got the ingredients ready. Now, we'll add all the wet ingredients in one by one. Putting the chocolate into a microwavable bowl. And next, we'll add the butter to the chocolate. You might need a spoon to transfer the butter fully into the microwavable bowl. So there you go. Now I'm going to put this mixture in the microwave for about 30 seconds to melt the butter and the chocolate to make a nice gooey mix together. So we'll add it for 30 seconds. Yeah. So I've melted the chocolate and the butter to make this mixture uh, if you find that it's not melting well enough you might have to leave it inside for another 10 to 20 seconds but you should melt the chocolate into the butter that's what makes the brownie gooey adding this mix to the brownie flour and other ingredients next a drop of vanilla essence. Finally, condensed milk. Now we'll start mixing all the ingredients together with the whisk as my little helper is doing here. I've got half a cup of water on standby. If I find that the brownie mix is too thick, then I might add a little bit of water to make it less thicker. But let's see, we'll mix this and we'll look at the consistency. Now I'm just checking the consistency. It's a little bit thick, so I'm going to add just a small amount of water and mix again. So let's check the consistency of the batter. So it's nice flowing consistency. So this is what we're looking at. So I'm going to transfer this into the baking tray. So now we're going to tap the cake tin with the mixture in for about 15 to 20 times and the reason we're going to do this is to remove any air bubbles that are trapped inside and also to ensure that the mix is spread evenly in the cake tin and we have to be patient and do this at least 15 to 20 times. I put a towel at the bottom just to stop making too much noise when I'm tapping the a mix. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for 30 minutes. The bowls and the spoons are all being laid clean by my little helper. So I've taken the brownie out now. It's about 30 minutes. Checking if it's cooked using, using this fork and see it's all coming out clean. Now I'm going to cover it with a tea towel and leave it to cool down for about an hour. Now after an hour, I've transferred the cool down brownies onto a plate and I've used this pizza cutter 
to cut it into pieces. Yummy, gooey, eggless chocolate brownies are ready to serve. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.